Good afternoon. Happy Friday. This is Sean LaBelle of the Decker Hewitt Group. It was another week of solid gains here as North American markets digest an ongoing earnings season and another 25 basis point in straight out of the U.S. Federal Reserve. With respect to the earnings season, it is definitely coming in weaker than expected. There was a big earnings miss out of Amazon. It's first negative quarter since 2014. It's almost 10 years now. That sort of news isn't to be unexpected. And it's obviously something that we've been discussing lengthy in the last few months is that you're already starting to see the economy roll over and that is now just becoming evident in some of these quarterly announcements and that isn't something that is to be unexpected of course the u.s federal reserve and other central banks around the world are purposely slowing down the economy in an attempt to rein in inflation so you're really beginning to see that now occur in this ongoing earnings season with respect to the u.s federal reserve as widely expected it did do another 25 base point rate hike on wednesday now taking its overnight rate to 4.75%. In the after uh, market a commentary, Fed Chair Jerome Powell had a little bit of a dovish commentary around it saying that he is now witnessing disinflationary uh, events occur in the economy. And that's something the markets were really waiting for. Obviously, with the first time we got month over month inflation drop back in July, the Fed Chair was saying that one month does not make a trend, but now uh, following several months of negative inflation guidance, we are definitely now witnessing a trend and the Federal Reserve is cognizant of that. And they're saying now that the interest rate hikes might only need to do one or two more south of the border before we get to that terminal rate. So this definitely had the markets rallying on the news as we are now very obviously getting closer to the end of the interest rate cycle. We likely had the last rate hike out of the Bank of Canada last week. We're almost done there now on the U.S. Federal Reserve side. So markets were definitely cheering the news. We discuss all of that in this week's Market Watch Weekly. Uh, we'll end it on that note. Hope you guys enjoy the weekend and we will talk to you again next week. Cheers.